Hi everyone, I wanted to share um, two mini albums with you guys today. The first one I created um, from a paper kit from the Pebbles, um, Pebbles Inc. and it's called Theodore Scrapbook Kit. And as you can see, there's a lot of stuff in here that I will be making some cards from this as well. But it's the Theodore Scrapbook Kit from Pebbles Inc. The cardstock are from my stash. I just matched the color that was going with the paper, um, with the design paper. The flowers I created myself using my EK Success punch and my um, small EK Success punch as well. Um, the buttons, well, the button, one button, is from my stash. So keep all the buttons that you guys find, you know, from sweaters, from the kids' old clothes, or buttons that were on the pillows. They're great to use and incorporate in your mini albums. The, bi um, the binding, the same thing is from Yolis Craft and Charlie uh, Gibson, the way they bind their stuff. And I'll go ahead and do a tutorial maybe next week on that one because it'll take about like a 10 minute to 12 minute um, tutorial. Uh, this right here for the band, the band itself, um, I bought this from Daiso when I was in Japan. And I hand dyed some of them pink, and this one I hand dyed with the Stampin' Up um, Close to Cocoa. I think they already stopped making this brand, um, color as well, but I don't know, I'm not sure. And that's what I used to color the, the band. The kit came with a lot of stickers for titling and sentiments, so I used one of the kit, um, the stickers that says You're the Best, and titled the mini, because I think this is perfect for a Valentine's gift for mom or a girlfriend or anybody that you think is perf you know or even a mother's day card or mother's day gift and then i just use my i think it's ek success for the um scallop punch here for the binding and here we go so it's really simple the kit came with some circled um well one circle um, die cut and it says do what you love and love what you do and I just use my crop a doll hole puncher here and I use my um, trims from my stash and I just inserted that and I just use a crop a doll to punch a hole stuck the button in there and use this little hardware um, what do you call it paper clip and this came from the Stampin' Up um, hodgepodge hardware and there's so much. I think this is a great investment if you're into a lot of hardware. I mean, I buy like like Tim Holtz stuff too, but this has so much. This is from a pillow of mine, so I just incorporated that in there because they have that um, copper feel look to it. So that's what it looks like. And then on the second page, oops, sorry. I have inserts in here and I used my Martha Stewart corner punches to round all the corners. I mean to punch all the corners and then my Stampin' Up um, label punch on the side. But yes, this is pretty much um, a simple mini album that I've created. The kit also came with die cuts of tabs in here, and that's what I did. It's a sticker, so you can trace those out and use those as your tabs as well. And then from my stash, I got some die, some cardstock to match the color of the designer papers and made some tags and just stuck some um, of their stickers to incorporate in this mini. As you can see, it's very simple. Um, small flowers, I just put some bling on there and these were also from like the the Daiso flower punch it was like really small ones but they're really cute to use and again some more tags and these are five I made five pages pockets here and then, like I said the front and back cover is um, chipboard here I used the toothpick but because the toothpick was pointy I didn't want anyone to get injured so I wrapped a piece of the designer paper on here to make sure that nobody gets owie from here. And to uh, make sure that the band does stay on here, I just tied a little bow knot in here. And that's what I did on that side. But it's really simple. And I will be selling this on either my Etsy 
or even my YouTube I will have to do this whole thing again but like I said I will either Etsy YouTube or eBay account so from that paper I have a paper kit I also had enough to make another mini album and again the front and back cover our chipboard it's the same method of binding this is just a, uh, a four by six and this one was a six by six uh, mini album so you can use any method of I mean use any size of paper you want just using the same method of binding and this one's called you're my kind of guy it's perfect for a father's day or for you know a gift or a birthday gift for a guy or even for valentine's because you don't have to stick with the uh, unusual pink purple and red colors for valentine's so guys don't like that much you know flowers on here so I didn't put any flowers I went ahead and just put some tags a little bit of fibers soften it up just a little bit but the colors itself was blue and brown so I thought it matched perfectly with the paper collection and I used my Stampin' Up! corner ticket punch here so just giving you some ideas what you could do and the cardstock itself are from my stash I um, the kit came with I think six papers but they were like you know two of each so it's like you can't use them over and over so I had to use them from my stash but it was fine because it really brings out the other um, designer papers so again some more tags to put pictures and um, journaling and then more pictures in here um, made five pockets again so they're pretty much you can all these you can put 20 pictures and if you're including these uh, inside front and inside back it's 22 and if you want to use the back that's another 23 so I hope you guys like the minis and and purchase them if you prefer if you want to but I will be posting them so if you want to purchase them now, you can um, private message me and I'll let you know the prices. Thanks for watching. Bye.